At least six soldiers were killed and nine others were injured in an ISIS attack on a Syrian army checkpoint near the town of Ithria, located on the Hama Aleppo Road. According to pro-government sources, at least five ISIS members were killed in the clashes. Regular ISIS attacks in desert areas in central Syria are a serious problem for Syrian government forces. During the past few weeks, the army and its allies completed a series of combing operations against ISIS cells in eastern Homs, southern Raqqa, and western Deir ez-Zor. It seems that these efforts forced the terrorist group to shift its focus towards eastern Hama. Nonetheless, there is little doubt that as soon as the Syrian military sends units hunting down ISIS cells along the Palmyra Deir ez-Zor road in the Ithria area, ISIS attacks in the Deir ez-Zor countryside will resume once again. The Damascus government will likely continue lacking resources to clear the entire desert of ISIS cells as long as it needs to keep large forces on the contact line with the Turkish army and its proxies in Greater Idlib, near the region of Afrin, and in northeastern Syria. Idlib militant groups are not only waging a never-ending propaganda war against the Damascus government, but also find time for regular infighting. On June 17th, Hayat Tahrir al-Sham arrested Abu Salah al-Uzbeki, the founder and former leader of the Katibat al-Twaid wal-Jihad terrorist group, which consists mostly of ethnic Uzbeks. Al-Uzbeki and two of his bodyguards were captured by Hayat Tahrir al-Sham forces near the city of Idlib on June 17th. The reason for tensions is that Katibat al-Twaid wal-Jihad recently distanced itself from Hayat Tahrir al-Sham and signed a pact with Ansar al-Din, another al-Qaeda-linked group. Earlier this month, Ansar al-Din and several other medium and small groups created a new coalition, Fa Ithbatu. Hayat Tahrir al-Sham may have considered this move as an attempt to challenge its dominant position among the so-called moderate opposition. Usbat al thariyan an Iraqi pro-Iranian group formed earlier in 2020, released a new video claiming responsibility for a series of attacks on U.S. forces and facilities across Iraq. In the video, entitled Victory Comes with Patience, it claimed that on June 8th it shelled Camp Taji, damaging a C-130 military transport aircraft of the U.S. Air Force. On June 11th, it launched rockets at the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad's Green Zone. On June 16th, it launched rockets at the U.S.-operated military section of Baghdad International Airport. Uzbat al Thariyan is the group that killed three U.S.-led coalition personnel with a rocket strike on Camp Taji on March 11th. Nonetheless, its claims about damaging the C-130 aircraft belonging to the U.S. military can hardly be verified.